Hi, Dr. Yusmaita. I am Uwani from Group J. My group members are Muhammad Amiru Ashraf bin Rohisham, Muhammad Saibullah bin Hanif, So Sin Pei, Dijia Hui, and Zhu Zafran bin Raihan. First, introduction. A power supply functions to transform the power from the source into the appropriate voltage and format. Power supply adjusts the voltage to match the demands of the device, either stepping it up or down to prevent overload. Basic power supplies will convert from AC to DC power by changing the voltage. Power supply consists of several parts, transformer, rectifier, filter, and regulator. Transformer transforms the input voltage to the desired output voltage level. Rectifier can be a half-wave, full-wave, or bridge to change the incoming electricity from AC to DC. Filter suits out the waves when AC power changes to DC. And regulator reduces the ripple voltage left by the filter by removing any voltage surges or drops. Capacitor is used to decrease the highs and lows that come from a rectifier. Next, methodology. Multi-stream simulation software is being used to conduct this simulation. AC source VS is set to 240 PIMS, 55 Hz of frequency. A transformer is used to lower the voltage to 24 volt. Capacitors will source out the waves and decrease the highs and lows that come from a rectifier, even if they don't produce perfectly smooth power. The IC regulators LM7815CT and LM7915CT are used to provide a constant output voltage. LM7815CT used to provide positive 15 volt as output, while LM7915CT is used to provide negative 15 volt as output. The result can be obtained by measure with multimeter and oscilloscope. Hello and hi, Doctor. My name is Muhammad Amir Ashraf and Alicia. And now I want to talk about simulation and experimental result. The simulation involves various components and this session will describe the design example for the proposed power supply circuit system and present the experimental result by using an IL multi porting. Simulation software as a platform to build the design depicted in figure one. Validation of the proposed concept was achieved through laboratory experiment. But firstly, I want to talk about the circuit. We go to show the result of using an Almaty CM40. For ZD, the role of the power supply input is to furnish electrical energy to be the system, typically in the form of alternating current, or known as AC. Illustrated in figure 2, the AC input represented as VS1 with specification of 240 uh, volt and 50 hertz, function to provide power that will subsequently traverse through all the components within the system. Hi, my name is Muhammad Saifah Ben Hanif, and I will talk about the component in the circuit. Firstly, is the filter capacitor. It plays a crucial role in enhancing the stability of the DC voltage output. It achieves this by spotting out the variation or ripple in the DC voltage that originates from the bridge rectifier. Second is the bridge rectifier diode. It is a component designed to convert AC to DC. This conversion is pivotal for various electronic applications, where consistent and controllable DC voltage is required. Third is a voltage regulator. This component, this regulator effectively controls the output voltage, ensuring the stability even in the face of the variation in input voltage or load condition. Also, input of power supply, VSS, that supply electric power to an electrical load. The main purpose of a power supply is to convert electric current from a source to the correct voltage, current and frequency to power, power the load. Last but not least is the transformers that designed to step down the voltage from primary coil input to the secondary coil output. That's all from me. Thank you. The simulation of waveform is captured in the simulation software in multi-sim using oscilloscope. In the simulation, the voltage is maintained at 15 volt and negative 15 volt. Conversely, in the experimental setup, the AC input voltage was set at 240 volt. The result of experiment demonstrate the fulfillment of the waveform, as there is no temporal overlap between channel and channel B. The multimeter SMM1 measure the voltage across the capacitor C4. The reading is 15.55 volt, which is the peak voltage of the oscillating signal. The multimeter SMM2 measure the voltage across the capacitor C8. The reading is negative 
50.50 volt which is equal equal in magnitude to the voltage on the left but with the opposite polarity this is because the capacitor C4 and C8 are connected in series so the voltage across them is equal but with opposite polarities that's all for me thank you correct this solution digital power supply incorporate digital control using micro controller or PSP dynamically adjust output voltage based on load requirement and then you have routine and storage integrate renewable energy source like solar panel for sustainable power supply use energy storage like supercapacitor or rechargeable battery for low load and high demand period smart power management implement intelligent feature like load selling and automatic voltage adjustment explore load key technology for remote monitoring and control resilient power supply design ensure continued operation despite component failures and has reliability for critical application advantage and challenges digital power supply advantage Adaptive voltage regulation, real time monitoring, energy efficiency optimization, challenges, complete system design and implementation, requires specialty knowledge, higher initial implementation, cost due to complete component integration, hybrid energy storage system, integrate solar panel, piezoelectric material, and thermoelectric generator, offer versatility and sustainability, super capacitor, provide fast charging, rechargeable material chemistry adapt to specific application challenges solar planner intermittent nature smart power management strategy concept energy during load activity utilize lock key for remote monitoring monitoring and predictive maintenance optimize strategy with automation rules and machine learning algorithm challenges integration with lock key technology initial implementation costs include setup and user training Power component redundancy ensure continuous operation through use part enhance system robustness protect over current temperature and shock circuit challenges complexity in design due to redundancy increase component cost due to fail tolerance feature eco-friendly component acceptability assessment digital power supply traditional three terminal IC voltage regulator limit adaptability leading to energy weightage and electronic with microcontroller this SP based digital control offer adaptability efficiency and dynamic load adjustment digital power supply system enhance energy efficiency and reduce electronic waste energy harvesting and storage traditional power source really on fossil fuel causing carbon emission and environmental degradation. Innovative promoter include solar panel, piezoelectric material, and thermoelectric generator. Sustainable assessment are linked renewable energy with robot green energy home. Smart power management approved traditional system in efficiency due to lack of adaptability and intelligence. Smart power management use load shelling dynamic voltage adjustment and lot key technology for energy conservation and eco-friendliness. Promote energy conservation are linked with promo initiative, reduce vehicle inspection and improve resource efficiency, redundancy in power component. Traditional approved lake resistance and fault tolerance feature. Innovative promotion include use power park, parallel redundancy, N plus one redundancy enhanced reliability redundancy, reduce system failures and environmental impact. End of life considerations. Digital control and adaptive strategies. Digital power supplies enhance performance, lifespan, and sustainability by utilizing microcontroller technology and adaptive techniques like adaptive voltage regulation, reducing reliance on non-renewable materials, and optimizing energy storage management. Next, energy harvesting and storage efficiency. Solar panels enhance sustainability by reducing reliance on non-renewable materials, allowing for recycling and reuse, and digital control optimize energy storage management, extending battery life and efficiency. Smart power management and IoT technology. IoT technology enables predictive maintenance and adaptive control strategies to identify and fix potential issues before system failure, extending component lifespan and reducing downtime through real-time conditions optimizations. 
Lastly, redundancy in power components. Redundant components like dual power pathway and M plus one redundancy enhance system reliability by ensuring uninterrupted functionality and reducing component replacement. For example, four tolerant features protect power supply component. Implementation strategy. First, cost constraints. Integrating advanced power supply solutions in manufacturing faces cost challenge due to increased upfront expenses for R&D, equipment acquisition, and worker training. Strategies include buying in bulk, negotiating prices, and collaborating with partners. Next, skills and knowledge gaps. Challenges include workforce lack of skill for cutting-edge technology and IoT integration. Strategies include employee training, partnerships, workshops, change management, and fostering an adaptive culture. Next, environmental impact. Challenges in electronic component manufacturing include materials, end-of-life issues, energy efficiency, and carbon footprint. Strategies include using sustainable materials, recycling initiatives, enhanced energy efficiency, renewable energy sources, eco-friendly packaging, and take into account local production. Lastly, supply chain issues. Supply chain issues, component availability, and quality control can heighten the successful implementation of new power supply design in manufacturing processes. Strategies include diversifying suppliers, creating contingency plans, and implementing strict quality control procedures. Cost-benefit analysis. Traditional designs have lower initial investment due to simpler components, easier assembly, and lower operational costs. However, they may have inefficient regulatory mechanisms, leading to increased energy consumption and higher maintenance and repair costs. On the other hand, innovative designs yield advanced components, increase R&D expenses, and are more energy efficient, resulting in cost reduction over time. Additionally, advanced fault tolerant design can reduce maintenance intervention frequency and prevent system failures, reducing downtime and associated expenses. Next, long-term benefits of sustainability offset initial costs. Sustainable design using renewable energy provides stability and resilience in retreating energy costs, offering long-term cost savings. Creative design offers operational flexibility, adaptability, and energy savings, reducing the need for major overhauls and capital expenditures. Innovative design with energy-efficient elements also result in extended operational lifespans, reducing the frequency of replacement and associated costs. Next is conclusion. The voltage regulators LM7815 CT and LM7915 CT are suggested to be used in the article in order to provide mixed positive and negative DC outputs of 15 volt and negative 15 volt respectively. This regulator is a series pass resistor to regulate voltage by comparing the output to a reference voltage. They guarantee a consistent output. The operation of the circuit is verified using a multimeter that displays peak to peak voltage and oscilloscope that shows a sinusoidal waveform. The book goes over how to change the amplifier gain and the component parameters in software to get the desired effects for a steady 12 volt output stabilizing voltage regulator as stress. It, this is a back by efficient regulation and stability assessment. A 240 volt AC input in series experiment and setup and cooperation are met between simulation and experiment finding and oscilloscope and the digital multimeters. Briefly discussed as tool for gathering data to find the oscillation frequency. The complete oscillator is introduced and the peak voltage across capacitors C4 and C8 are measured. In spite of possible upfront expenses, the study also emphasizes the long-term advantage such as energy saving and environmental sustain sustainability with technical advancement and economies of scale in line with sustainability objective. That's all.